Now, the group Stop Asian American and Pacific Islander Hate documented more than 11,000 self-reported hate incidents across the nation from March of 2020, the start of the pandemic, to March of this year. Stop AAPI Hate found the impact of racism and discrimination is long-lasting and felt every day. Less than half of those surveyed said they felt safe going out. 65% were worried about the safety of family members and elders. 32% of parents were concerned about their children facing hate in unsupervised places and on the way to school. CBS 2's Hannah Klieger shows us how Brooklyn residents are working together to protect their heritage and their communities. Safe or not safe? Not safe. Andy Lin, owner of this 99 cent store on Avenue U, says people have stolen coffee and other things in the past. A few doors down, Maggie Chen, owner of a nail salon, says hate crimes are also on people's minds. A lot of people are very not nice to the Asian people. I think it should be need, a, need a somebody to the help. That's where this group of volunteers comes in. As we speak, they are forming an Asian community watch patrol group in the neighborhoods of Homecrest and Sheepshead Bay. Being a watch person can help lower the crime rate to give them a warning to tell them to stop. It all started with the help of Councilwoman Ina Vernikoff, who brought the group together and is providing funding. Well, when there's an increase in crimes in, in the city, um, what happens is, you know, we have vulnerable targets. The Asian community has been badly hit. Many people have been hurt and people have gotten killed. This group is quite new. They need training. And that's where their neighbors from the Jewish community come in. Another Brooklyn volunteer group, Flatbush Showroom Safety Patrol, is stepping in to help prepare them for when they have to be out in the streets any time of day or night. At the end of the day, their community is safe, our community is safe. This week, members of both communities got together to begin that training. I want to say thank you to the Jewish community, so they have a very successful model. We want to create something like, like this. The goal of this unarmed volunteer group is to have a visible presence to deter crime and to be the ones to call police if needed. Perpetrators, as we call them, they hide behind a cloak of uh, anonymity. Once you strip that cloak away, they're going to think twice. Okay. Just being feel, the feeling of being more safe will encourage people to come out and spend more and shop more. Hoping a few more eyes will make a big difference. In Sheepside Bay, Brooklyn, Hannah Klieger, CBS 2 News.